Our North American contingent is looking pretty good. Let's kick it off with the U.S. riders. We've got four riders from the U.S. going to the tour this year. Sean Bennett, he was a last-minute call-up for Quebec at Astos. He is going to be replacing Fabio Aru. Then you have Sepp Kuss. Sepp Kuss, the American climbing phenom, once again going to be a key part of the Jumbo Visma offense in the mountains, riding for Primoz Roglic. Similarly, Brandon McNulty, former world time trial champion in the juniors division, he is going to be backing up Tade Pogachar. This is going to be the most important job Brandon McNulty has ever had in his young career. So pretty exciting to see what this American can do. He's had a, you know, overall very, very strong season, very deserving of this spot at the tour. Nielsen Palace, he is our fourth and final American rider. He had a fantastic first hit out in his uh, very first Tour de France in 2020, putting himself in lots of breakaways. Stage hunter extraordinaire. He finished, I think, fourth and fifth on stages, which is, you know, awesome for your first tour. So he has the experience of a Tour de France under his belt now, and we're just going to see what he can do in 2021. I definitely hope that EF lets him off the leash and lets him go chase some stages because he's proven that he's quite capable of it. Gregor, I've got to say, this is an exciting year to be a Canadian fan at the Tour de France. I, I have not fact-checked this, but I have heard from both Michael Woods, Michael Woods told you, and Alex Steed, a former yellow jersey wearer at the Tour, told me they don't think that there has ever been a Tour de France with as many Canadians on the start list as we've got this year. We have three riders. We have Guillaume Bova, we have Hugo Hull, and then, of course, Michael Woods. Michael Woods leading Israel Startup Nation. We don't really know what he is going to do at the tour this year. I don't think that he does either. He was initially going into it planning on supporting Chris Froome, but roles have reversed. Now Michael Woods has leadership. So it, it you know, it's incredibly, incredibly exciting. He looks to be on the form of his life. You know, you have to keep in mind his big goal is the Tokyo Olympics, which happens, you know, immediately after the tour. So he was already on, you know, incredible, incredible form trajectory, but going to the tour hoping for you know, stage wins, uh, something along those lines. Now he's got a whole team supporting him for yellow jersey ambitions, and he's taking it on, backed up by another Canadian, Guillaume Bova. Michael, I, you fly loose and fast with your facts. I hope somebody looks into those and, and sees if it's true. And if it is true, that's great. All I know is that we're up three times as much as last year when I was checking in daily with Hugo Hull because that was our Canadian go-to rider in the Tour de France last year. And he rode so well last year and he had some shots at winning a stage win. Let's hope he, he gets a shot this year. Now his responsibility is gonna be helping out Fulasang and Ion Izagir, but, but I think Hugo, they call him Hugo Boss is what I understand. I think Alex Catterford told me that. Uh, let's hope Hugo Boss gets his way through some of those days and gets a shot at a stage win because that would be really good. And of course we know Michael Woods has a shot of winning a stage. I mean, he's just going so, so well. And it's going to be a good year, a good addition for the Canadians. It's great to see three Canadians on the start list. And of course, with the big star, Michael Woods, but that really opens up uh, Bovant to help out Michael Woods. He's gonna have a role there that's pretty important in that team. And we got Chris Froome there. And then Hugo Hull, he's our go-to guy, Hugo Boss. Guillaume Bova, he is a rider with a ton of experience, but has never actually done the Tour de France before. So this is very exciting for him. He's, he's such a strong, capable rider, but we're, we usually see him racing opportunistically, going for breakaways. He was in a breakaway uh, when the Giro started in Israel. He, I think he made the break every day and then continued to do so throughout uh, the Giro going for breakaway success. This year, he's, he's going to be on a tighter leash because he really does have to look after Michael Woods. But exciting to see two Canadians working in tandem on Israel Startup Nation. And then just got to um, you know, clarify about Hugo, Alex Stita. He reached out to Hugo and was uh, feeding me some information. Astana does not actually have a GC leader at the Tour this year. Keep in mind, they lost Miguel Angel Lopez to Movistar. So Hugo Hull, for the first time in his career... He is not going to be on domestique duty 
at the Tour de France, and this is a rider. He is he's so capable, but he's pretty quiet. He puts his head down. He does work. He takes his chances when he can get them, and we saw this. He he was just shepherding Miguel Angel Lopez around in the crosswinds and the chaos of the 2020 Tour. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Hugo Hull. It, this is basically the anchor. He, he's throwing away the anchor. He is no longer tethered to having to look after any GC riders. This is the team captain of Astana, and he has the road captain role because he can read a race so well. He is so capable in the most treacherous, uh, just dynamic, chaotic conditions. He knows how to navigate the field when uh, everything is falling apart. This is a rider who I am so excited to see what he can do when he is actually racing 100% for himself every single day, 21 days in a row. Of course, they're also going to have Jakob Fuglsang, who, you know, these two riders are going to have to, you know, not work against each other, but two very, very capable riders going for stage wins. So, like I said, Gregor, exciting year to be a Canadian fan watching the Tour de France. Uh, and, yeah, someone please do check me on if there have ever been more than three Canadian riders at the Tour before. I've done very, very superficial research into it, but have not... Um, not found a year when that was the case. I know Alex Dita was saying him and Steve Bauer uh, were racing the tour together back in the day, but he, he can't think of another uh, year when there were more. So, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know if I'm wrong, but strong Canadian contingent, whatever the case.